Hey, Dr. Jawad. In one of the videos I did about taking ox bile as a supplement, she asked, can you take Tutka with it? And I have no idea what Tutka was. Toroso deoxycholic acid. Now, the benefit of that is it really, it makes the bile more watery, which will improve overall your liver health, gallstones, numerous conditions, neurodegenerative conditions, eye health, cellular health, heart health, bile flow. So thank you for writing that question in because if that question wasn't written in, this wouldn't have been made. So as always, thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Thank you for turning to my channel. If you're a repeat customer, welcome back. If you're a new customer, hey, thank you very much. If you can, please do me small favors. Hit the subscribe button down below, the bell notification, the like button, and also please leave a comment. Even if it's just a simple hello, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Because with the more comments, what happens is that the Google recognizes there's a pattern, so the greater chance of me having more thumbnails on this side and the greater chances of the thumbnails increases the chance of me get, getting a better cup of coffee every day. So always appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Okay, I posted previous videos about taking bile salts, who should take it, who should not take it. And with bile salts, I always recommend these products. I don't endorse any of them. So this product here is good for the stomach acid and pepsin, which is needed to break down proteins. And this is just for overall digestive enzyme support. Yes, it does have ox bile in there. And this is the one I always recommend for people who are questioning about digestive enzymes, if you have a gallbladder or if you're not. But in one of those comment sections, uh, someone who asked a question about Tutka. What is Tutka? I've never even heard of Tutka before. So I did the research and Tutka, like wow, Tutka is a phenomenal supplement to add on to your digestive enzyme support because it only does it much better. So what is Tutka? What's it good for? Now, the background of Tutka, Tutka was originally a bile acid that was found in bears. It was found in the Asian bear and the American black bear. And what they did, they used to hunt those bears down for their for my, their supply of Tutka. Fortunately, now, years later, or decades later, we are able to make it synthetically. So Tutka is a phenomenal supplement to add on to your regimen for overall health, and it's never too late to start. So Tutka is great for, if you have liver disease, heart disease, neurodegenerative disease, diabetes, retinal diseases, it helps regenerate the liver cells. So the liver has over 300 functions, so you want to improve the liver function because the liver leads over to the muscular system, the nervous system, the digestive system, the endocrine system. So the liver pathway is phenomenal. So you always wanna take care of your liver. And also too, it helps protect the liver. It's more potent than ox bile, so you don't have to take as much. Took it as a bile acid. It's a conjugate of taurine and uroso, uroso deoxycylic acid, which I, that's hard to pronounce. So it's, you know, it's UDCA, which is Tutka, is that's hard to pronounce too. Toroso, Toruroso deoxycholic acid. Try saying that five times fast. I tried. It's a bile acid found in trace amounts in the liver and it aids in digesting fats. Now, the key thing is about Tutka that is, makes it so dynamic, it's water soluble. It's a water soluble bile acid, meaning that it helps counteract the toxicity of regular bile acids. Regular bile acids is a combination of fat and water soluble. So if it's backed up due to some way, shape or form, it backs up in the liver and the bile salts get toxic. So this helps kind of like burrow through that backed up bile. So what's the difference between regular bile and Tutka? What's the difference between? Regular bile has both water soluble and fat soluble ends which gives it a detergent effect. Now we need it biologically because if you have a pan, a frying pan, what bile does, it helps clean up the, pot, the, fr the frying pan. It's the detergent that gets rid of the grease, which is great biologically, but what if that bile gets backed up? Then you get cholestasis. You get a backup of bile, which bile is very damaging to the cells, very toxic. 
So it destroys what's called the endothelial lining. That endothelial lining is that first layer in all our tubular systems that you want to protect. You don't want anything to destroy it or toxify it. So what are the benefits? Now remember with Tutko, bi regular bile is a combination of fat soluble and water soluble. Tutka is all water soluble, which makes it more watery. So if you have a backup, this is going to kind of burrow through it. And this is, this is, this is why it's so good. So the benefits, it increases bile flow, increases bile qu quality, increases the mitochondria, which lowers what's called apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. When the cell membrane gets toxic or gets inflamed, we have a system that's going to destroy the cells. You don't want to destroy the cells too quick before it's time. So what if you have too thick bile? <clears throat> now remember, bile is made from cholesterol and 75% 75, 75 of cholesterol wants to be recycled. Cholesterol is utilized by taking in your good fatty foods, fatty acid foods. Because fatty acid foods makes cholesterol, cholesterol makes the bile. We need it. So if you're in a low fat diet or if you're taking stents or medications or you have liver cirrhosis, that bile gets too thick. The reason why you get bile too thick is because you're not taking enough fatty acids. So it backs up the liver, the gallbladder ducts, which increases pressure on the heart and the lungs and the overall body because the liver is a very, it's a, it's a very close compartment. What if you have the gallbladder removed? You have the gallbladder removed. The gallbladder is the, what it does, it's a storage for bile, which will store up to 20 times to make it more concentrated. So when you eat a fatty food, bile, the gallbladder releases the bile, which helps emulsify fats to absorb the fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. What if, your, what if your gallbladder is removed and the ducts are damaged? Or if you have an autoimmune disease specifically aimed at the gallbladder and ducts, you're gonna have a backup of bile. Tutka make, does what? It's, it's more watery. It'll clear up the cells. It protects the mitochondria. Now, every single cell that we have in our system has what's called mitochondria. The mitochondria makes the cellular energy and you wanna do your best to protect the mitochondria. So the liver has the highest amount of mitochondria. And what we have is that we have a chemical, lack of a better term, called Bax. What it does is, that, again, if the cells are damaged but not damaged too much, Bax is going to be released and we're going to have early programmed cell death. We don't want that because if it's too, if the cells are dying too quick before they're being made, it's not good. This inhibits, it stops the release of Bax because it's going to increase the mitochondria in the liver, which will increase ATP production, which will increase the strength and the endothelium and increase performance, increase digestion, lower the gut inflammation, and improve the gut microbiome. So this is why it's good with the mitochondria, and that's the main thing, because you want to improve the mitochondrial health. Cholestasis, what's cholestasis? It's basically blocked up bile. So when you have blocked bile, what happens? Increased acid accumulation and increases toxicity. Liver cirrhosis, liver cirrhosis, how'd you get it? Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is alcoholic fatty liver disease, bad diet, medication, how do you get it? What happens is you have fibrosis, which is scarring of the hepatocytes, which is the liver, and also to the tissue of the liver. Tutka does, it inhibits, it stops the formation of the fibrosis because it's going to help clean up the liver. Retinal disease, this is amazing. Retinal disease, why? Because bile helps break down the fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. The eye needs what? Vitamin A. So if you're cleaning up the liver pathway, you're gonna better absorb the fat soluble vitamins. Neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, ALS, Huntington's, Alzheimer's. The liver has a tight connection with the nervous system. The liver has a tight connection with the part of the brain with coordination called the cerebellum, which feeds into the, to the, the frontal cortex of the brain. The better you clean up the liver pathway, it's going to help support, it's gonna be neuroprotective of your brain and the nervous system. Now the question is dosage. Dosage, dosage, dosage. Well, now the question is dosage. So the research I've done is that you can either take it morning or night. You don't have to take it. Uh, you can either split up the dosage. You don't have, with food or without. Doesn't really matter as long as it gets in your system. Now start off with 500 milligrams and then go up to 1,000 milligrams per day. Now if you want optimal liver health, my suggestion is taking it with NAC or glutathione. You can take those together to help overall liver health. The research I've done is that you don't want to take more than 1,500 milligrams per day. And here's the benefit. There's no side effects. So I hope this helps. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the write-in. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please hit the subscribe, like, comment, bell. 
I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.